Okay, and the last question for today uh, says that a fund fundraising meal sells adult tickets for $15 per adult and child tickets for $8 per child. 500 tickets were sold for a total of $6,723. How many of each type of ticket was sold? So we need to know how many adult tickets were sold and how many child tickets were sold. So what we're going to do here is have our let statements um, work out to be like perhaps let A for adult represent the number of adult tickets. And we're going to let uh, child C represent the number of child tickets. Okay, so those are our let statements and then we need to come up with our equations. Now I'm looking at a couple of, of totals here. We have a total of $6,723, so that's a money amount, and we also have 500 tickets in total being sold. So a couple of equations. We know all together there were 500 tickets sold. Um, if A represents the number of adult tickets sold, we know that the number of adult tickets plus the number of children's tickets would have to total up to be 500 tickets. So the number of adult tickets plus the number of children's tickets equals the total number of tickets. The other value or other number we have is actually the money value that we're working with. So now we're working the money part in. We know that every adult ticket costs $15. So if I did the number of adult tickets times 15, that would give me the amount of money that was raised by selling adult tickets. And then the children's tickets were worth $8. So we're gonna have eight times the C, which is the number of children's tickets. So $8 for every child ticket. And that has to total up to be $6,723. Okay, now take a moment, put that into Desmos, see if you can figure out your intersection point, and then check back again. Okay, I had to really zoom in on my graph to see the intersection point, but I got an intersection point of 389,111. So that means, uh, for me, I had the A, B, uh, the letter X and my C really was my letter Y, or you could go to the alphanumeric one um, in your uh, keyboard. You can put actually the letter A and C in there. You just have to be careful to know which one is on the X axis and which one's on the, the vertical axis. And then, of course, summarize that with your therefore statements. Therefore, there were 389 adult tickets sold and 111 children's tickets sold. I hope that makes sense for you.